It was an experience. After being stranded in a tram car for 15 hours, 21 people are now back on the ground safely. Two years, and we've been stuck once or twice due to some weather, and, and you just wait 15, 20 minutes, and that 15 minutes turned into a half hour. The half hour turned into an hour. At around 10 p.m. on Friday, two tram cars were stopped on the way down from Sandia Peak. But how did all of this happen? We were affected by severe icing uh, due to the moisture uh, cool temperatures uh, that affected uh, the emergency cable. We had to cease operations due to the high winds and the icing and uh, fortunately stranded uh, uh, 20 of our employees actually out on the on the line last night. Dre John Jones was the operator for the cabin carrying 20 restaurant employees. They were a little bit finicky at first, but then once I told them that what, what, what the plan was, what's been happening, um, they definitely did like calm down. They say the hardest thing was to stay warm as rescue teams planned on how to bring everyone down safely. We got real close and a lot of hugging and and uh, just making sure everyone was okay. At around 1130 on Saturday morning, crews began their rescue. Their plan was to repel the passengers down off of the cabin and then walk them to a location where the helicopter could fly them to safety. All the behavior changed. You know, we saw the light at the end of the tunnel. When time finally came to repel, it was just pure joy. In groups of two, employees were brought down safely. Their loved ones waiting for them with open arms. I was kind of worried he wasn't going to get down because of the e-cable and how, hot, how high it was and everything. So, but he got down, so I'm glad. Although everyone was brought down to safety, Drejon says there's an important lesson to take away from this incident. In winter, you have to be a lot more perceptive of the cables. And not only that, the wind conditions as well. This is the mountain and we have to get that reminder every now and then. The Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office tells us there was one other person stuck in another tram car. They managed to bring him down to safety three hours later. Now let's go to meteorologist Byron Morton. He's got some new information about some of the conditions that those rescue crews were facing. Byron. Thanks a lot.